what's up, Kirby Smith Light Speaking Church. I'm just finishing a project here. What zip code is this? Uh, uh, 37909. 37909, which, what's that going to account for in Knox? So it's going to be like uh, a little west of downtown and west Hills, maybe Bearden northwest. Area. Yeah. Yeah. Is this actually technically West Hills? No. It's no, it's Bearden. Bearden, West Hills. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, we met about a month and a half ago. What made you guys move forward with Lightspeed Construction, Brianne and Pam? And what is the result thus far? We're not completed with the job, but we're getting there. And number three is, um, can you tell folks about your buying process and what led you to, you know, what led you to not just find us but move forward with us? Uh, well, we selected you guys because your bid um, was the most comprehensive, where we felt like we really understood what was going on with our roof and um, what we needed to replace and things like that. Um, the process so far has been pretty good. Kirby's been very reliable and communicative. I can text him at any time with any questions, which has been really helpful. Um, and the process of like picking um, light speed construction and picking this project was um, we needed it because our roof was leaking and we got bids from three different companies and this one felt the best to us. So. Horror story once or twice with some gutters and gutter guard stuff. Is that yeah. is that a fair statement at all? Oh yeah. What happened there? Well, we had people that said they were going to do one thing and didn't do it, and said it would be two weeks, and it ended up being three months. And I'm then, sorry, it went from two weeks to three months. Yeah. So like three months is what nine weeks or ten weeks or something like that. Oh yeah. How in the world did that happen? They just didn't show up. They didn't show up. And when they'd show up, they'd show up at like 10 at night or 9 at night. And that was really stressful. They showed up at 9 at night? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody were... just let them out of jail, more or less? Well, no. Or they had finished working their day job, and then they came over here to work at night. What was their day job? I don't know. Probably what other did. construction. <laughs> like landscaping or yeah. something? They didn't speak English, so we couldn't communicate with them. But ah. it was just shocking to look out the window and... Have a... people there at 9 o'clock at night waving at you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, but they oh didn't gosh. do a good job, and yeah. they had to come back because it was an insurance job. And so I called the insurance people and just raised heck, and so they had to come back and fix what they had done wrong. But it was just a nightmare. It was truly mm -hmm. a nightmare. So did your insurance company have them come out like on their behalf and estimate the project and then move forward with repairing some work and stuff, and you guys were sort of feeling like since they were pretty well recommended from your insurance company it made sense yeah, yeah they were they were the first company that the insurance company recommended so did they tarp the roof or the part of the, the gutters that was impacted was it a tree that hit the roof um, this is a little bit before my time what was yeah, it no, it go? was it, it was limbs and the wind that had pulled the gutter away from the house uh -huh. and so they had to replace raptor tails and fascia board oh. and, but when they got all finished and they came to collect the remaining money, which the insurance company said, no, don't pay them. We pay them. Don't you give them anything. Mm -hmm. So they were trying to pull something and asking for money from us. But also they said there's a thousand dollars additional work that we did. Mm -hmm. But they had no video of the work. They never asked if we wanted the work done. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. was a nightmare. What was what? Was it gutters and gutter guards? Was it raptor tails and fascia boards and fascia metal? I've yeah. seen some mismatched face metal here and there, so they didn't do all the face metal, right? No, no. They, and they left a lot of work undone. But we couldn't get up there to, to look at what they were doing, and they wouldn't take videos of it. And we couldn't communicate with the guys that were doing the work, and the man that came the first day didn't come again until the last day to collect the money. <laughs> and never returned calls. You know, I'd, I'd text him or I'd call him and he'd say, yeah, I'm on vacation in South Carolina. In jail. <laughs> Should have been. <laughs> My buddy over here knows about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure no contractors in Knoxville, Tennessee ever get arrested, right? <laughs> no, but we, we haven't had any work done on our house in the 20 years we've been here where the people have actually completed their contract and done what they said they would do. Well, you've got a few honeydews left, but you will definitely have me um, overseeing everything, getting videos and photos of everything, and we'll have this job documented up and down. 
one of the weird things that occurred here for me, and I know you guys seen this yesterday, was that on the back portion of the roof, and I'll drop some imagery of this out there, but the back portion of the roof had like half inch board on the back half of it, and then three quarter inch. Probably the first time I've ever seen half inch union with three quarter board. I've never seen that before. And then portions of the three quarter was like one by six with great big gaps in it, which was a surprise. But I was so happy that we could bring that to your attention and resolve it. I walked all over that portion, jumped up and down, and it's all good. We heard you. Yeah, you yeah. heard me? Okay, okay. Well, hey, maybe we can sell you some insulation for your attic next. You know, we'll definitely, <laughs> no, we don't do insulation. Just kidding. Just roofs and gutters, guys. And my name's Kirby with Lightspeed Construction. Bring in your pen. You guys want to sound off at all? I know we're not done. We got a little bit more, but this is awesome. Thank you guys so much for doing this. Is there anything else y'all want to say? Yeah, it's just been nice and consistent, and we're happy with you guys. And so. quick. Yeah, fast. Really quick. <laughs> Our crews are robust, man. They make us look awesome. And uh, glad we could, there's a little bit of honeydew cleanup, but we'll definitely knock that out of the park for y'all. And um, guys, if we can help with your next roofing or gutter project, my name's Kirby Smith. We appreciate it very much. Brianne and Pam, thank y'all.